Because the brain needs some way to cue this plasticity process to let itself know, because it's a self-learning organ, let itself know that something's really different. That's adrenaline. Something's changed. Then there's focus. What's changed? So in the jujitsu example you gave earlier, it's the ability to focus on wh what the sequence is, what happens when, and okay, I, I did that correctly or I didn't do that correctly, but that's duration, path, and outcome again. And having acetylcholine and noradrenaline up, that sets the plasticity trigger. However, that doesn't guarantee that those synapses are going to change. It does not mean that you're necessarily going to learn. Oh, no. What guarantees that that process will be converted into literally the change in the connections between neurons, sometimes new neurons, but mostly the change in the strength of the connection so that eventually you don't have to do duration path outcome. You can just be reflexive about it, is states of deep sleep and any state where you're not doing duration path outcome. So we know from two recent studies, some of this was done by my lab, but by other labs as well, in humans, which I think is important to distinguish between mouse and human when, where we can. A lot of the changes in these brain structures occurs after learning during deep sleep, in particular slow wave sleep. But it also occurs during periods of naps and shallow sleep, or even just periods where people deliberately decompress, where they're not focusing on any one thing in particular. So if we were gonna kind of uh, operationalize this process, it would be focus intensely, have an intense period of urgency, and then access the deepest rest you can where you're not thinking about anything, where space and time becomes very fluid. So stress in that case, post exercise or learning session would actually hinder your ability to grow and get better. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And elite performers like elite military, elite athletes, I'm sure you're familiar with this. They understand that the ability to toggle back and forth between these high alert, high attentional states and deep rest is not just the key to performing what you can already, what you can already do. It's also the ability to get better over time.